Good morning, Conastonite. This is my first time coming to talk to people online. So everybody just chill. We are going to relax. Today is the fifth anniversary of the praying women of Cornerstone Anointed Church of Christ. The Praying Women's Fellowship is a fellowship from Cornerstone Anointed Church of Christ, headed by Jesus Christ and our pastor, Pastor Peter Aliakwe Unwaru, who happens to be my husband. So I am really, really glad to be here this morning, and I hope that the women of Cornerstone, you are glad to see me, and even friends of Cornerstone. And this morning I have with me Pat, shout hello. Hello. I have Christy. Hello. I have Jane. Hello. And I have May. Hello. You are going to be seeing them when they come in to pray because it's a prayer time for the Cornerstone friends. And we also have Pastor Freeman here. Good morning, our pastor. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for coming to be with us this You're morning. Welcome. I'm really, really excited. Like I said, this is our first time. Cornerstone Precious Women has been on for 13 years, am I right? And this prayer fellowship is five years today. Can somebody help me shout? And by the grace of God, today we are five years old. Glory. Wow. We give Hallelujah. all the glory and praise to our God. Amen. I want to tell you a little history before we pray and we start what God has proposed for us to do today. In 2015, the Lord gave me this vision for the women to start praying. We never even knew that a day like this is going to come when we actually need to pray. Because we're in very dicey times right now that we need to rise up as women to pray. We also have our men's fellowship and they also have their prayers. Third Saturday of every month. This one is the first Saturday of every month. 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Am I right? Yes. 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. We are going to be interacting, you know, so everybody just relax. <laughs> this one, not be saying we are Everybody relax. We are going to be interacting by the grace of God. When there is any mistake, we press on. Yes. yes. Because God is with us. Amen. Fellowship started. I mean, this prayer fellowship started. It was for the purpose of removing us women from being laid back and zealous for Jesus Christ. For us to know why God made us as women. For every woman to know that she's loved by God. So if we want to summarize the entire vision of the praying women is love. Love for us to be zealous for God. Because when you are in love, you do what your lover, what pleases your lover. Am I right? Yes. yes. When you are not in love, that's when you are laid back. So we are going to read to you the vision of the Praying Women's Fellowship. So before we start, let's pray. Father, we bless you. Amen. Amen. We thank you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For this wonderful time in your presence. Yes, God. We will never take it for granted. Yes. We slept yesterday and we woke up. Mm -hmm. It is by your grace. Oh, yes. That we are here this morning. It is by your grace. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Some slept and they did not wake up. Mm -hmm. But we slept. And you woke us up. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you all the praise. Amen. All the glory. Amen. And all the adoration. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This prayer time is unto you, O oh God. Oh, yes, yes, Lord. We do not know how to pray. 
that your spirit raise through us. Hallelujah. Precious Holy Spirit, we are inviting you to take preeminence yes. in this time. Amen. Connect us to our God. Amen. We ask for the forgiveness of our sins. Amen. Begin to ask for the forgiveness of your sins. In every way that you have sinned against God, church, begin to ask God to forgive you. You need to ask for his forgiveness. Maybe in words that you have spoken that are not pleasing to him, in thoughts that have gone through your mind that he does not want. Some of us are so afraid. Fear is a sin. Begin to pray against that spirit. Maybe you woke up this morning angry. You are even angry that you have life. Begin to pray against Spirit right now, say, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for what I'm supposed to do that I did not do. Forgive me for what I did that I was not supposed to do. In any way that you have sinned against your God, begin to ask that he forgives you this morning. Because without forgiveness of sin, no that's the greatest gift that we receive from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He came and he forgave us our sins and our transgressions. Begin to ask that the Lord who created in her and renew his steadfast spirit within you. The spirit will not be cast away from you. This morning, we appeal to the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of mercy, the blood of mercy. Lord, let your mercy preeminence in our lives as we come before you this morning. We bless your holy name, O oh God. Lord of Jesus Christ. Lord of Jesus Christ. We give you our hearts this morning, O oh God. We appeal to your blood to cleanse us from every unrighteousness. Lord of Jesus Christ. Every desire that is not of you, this will be not.
Lord. Every breath that we take. Every moment that we are with, yes. Lord, have your way. Amen. Have your way even right now, oh God. Amen. And release the blood of Jesus to Lord speak on your behalf. Amen. Every one of you that is listening, that is praying along with us this morning, I release the blood of Jesus to break the chain. Amen. I release the blood of Jesus to break your chain. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be thou exalted this morning. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we have declared. Amen. Let me shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Praying Women's Fellowship is five years old. We did not pray in April, we did not pray in May, we did not pray in June. And my pastor said, he said, Becky, you don't want this prayer ministry to die because it has been doing a lot in the lives of the women of Cornerstone. It's not only for the women of Cornerstone, other also that are born again Christian, they come to join our prayer. So if you are a born again Christian, Join us in praying to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. COVID-19 will not guard our voice. Amen. Because Jesus has given us for us to speak. The government says there is no church because of COVID-19. Everything is for our good. Remember that. It's for our good. For you to wear your mask is for your good. I have my mask. I can't wear it because you will not hear me. Wash your hands. Is for your good. Keep your social distance. Is for our good. Right now we are not in church. We are in our living room. And you can still hear our women talking. Yeah. Let me shout hallelujah. 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 With the crew we are all keeping our social distance. By the grace of God. God. Because. The nations cannot stop the church of the living God. Hallelujah. It says he has built his church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Hallelujah. We want to speak even before I pray to the government of Nigeria. Open the church of God. Amen. The, the banks are open. People are going to their various works of life. They are all open. The church of God is closed because you are thinking that when people come to church, they will contact the pandemic, the coronavirus. But I want to tell you something. The house of God is a house of prayer. Hallelujah. The house of God is a house of deliverance. Hallelujah. The house of God will come, they receive healing. Oh, yes. When anybody with COVID-19 if that church is of Jesus Christ and the head there is submissive to Jesus Christ, COVID-19 dies. Amen. Amen. Open the church so that the children of God can come together again and lift up their voices to the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. We are right now in our living room because the church is closed. But I want to bless God that Christians cannot be God. That's, right. yes. That's why we are here. I want to celebrate my pastor, Pastor Peter Nwarumi, that gingered me to comfort the Lord will bless you. Amen. Amen. Cornerstone, before we do anything, pray for your pastor. Pray that the Lord will heal his body. The Lord will strengthen our pastor. The Lord will keep him standing. Pastor Peter Unwarumi, we have committed you to Jesus Christ, the one who is able to keep you. Sickness will not find a hold in you. The Lord God Almighty that has given you this assignment, they will continue to hold you. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. We, the women of Cornerstone, we call you blessed. I believe that every woman that you have touched their lives, they are blessing you this morning. 
You have blessed our marriages. You have blessed our relationship. We commit you to the Lord God Almighty. Father, we bless you. Pastor Freeman that is here, we commit you to God, Pastor Freeman. The Lord will bless you. You did not say we are women, but you are here to celebrate with us. God will celebrate your life. The Lord will bless all that concerns you. He will bless your daughter. He will bless your wife. He will bless your ministry. He will bless the works of your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have declared. Amen. Praise be to our God. Hallelujah. I said I was going to tell you the purpose of the Praying Women's Fellowship. In 2015, I discovered that I was just being laid back in prayers. And I discovered also that there were some women that were my friends. Some of them are here right now. We all were just being laid back in prayers. And the Lord said to me, why don't you start a prayer fellowship? We started very few, and we started growing. God has been mighty with us. Through this prayer ministry, we have testimonies. And I believe that there's going to be a testimony for a woman this morning that will not sit her butt down, say because it's raining, she's sleeping, that she will get up and start putting her household in the hands of the living God. Amen. Because prayer works. Yes. I brought this book before Pastor Freeman reads for us Romans 12, 11. Pastor preached it of last month. The church should go ahead, pray. And I got this from him. Why should the church go ahead, pray? <coughs> Help me when I cough and bless me. Bless you. Thank you very much. Because some people will say, why is she coughing? Somebody help me shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why should we men go ahead pray? We should pray because God loves us. Hallelujah. How should we pray? We should pray spiritedly and intercedingly. You don't just get up and say you are praying. You want to pray spiritedly and intercedingly. The Holy Spirit is given to us because we do not know what to pray for. The Holy Spirit does the prayer in us and for us out of our groans, sighs, tongues, and wordless actions. Some of you might not even have anything you want to say this morning. Just by listening, by being in the presence of God, He knows the pain in your heart. Hallelujah. He knows that cry that you have been crying even before you woke up this morning. Mm -hmm. But those tears are going to turn to joy. Amen. Amen. Because God is with you. Amen. Amen. He says, I will not leave you. I will not forsake Hallelujah. you. That's a covenant promise Hallelujah. that does not fail. Hallelujah. God's word is flawless. Yes. He has not failed before. Mm. He will not fail in our time. Amen. Amen. So the purpose of us coming together as women to pray is for us to have a vivaciousness, mm. a zeal for our God. Don't let coronavirus kill your seed. Amen. Don't let coronavirus make you think, what am I, what am I even living for? Excuse me, somebody. You are living for God. Hallelujah. You are not a useless woman. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Highly favored. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to read to you where we are praying from and where the purpose. Can I call it the vision? Yes. yes. The vision of the Praying Women's Fellowship. Romans 12, verse 11. <coughs> Romans 12, verse 11. Yes. Never be lacking in zeal, mm -hmm. but keep your spiritual favor. Never be lacking in zeal. As of women, let me turn off this AC when they make me cough so. I'm not very poor. I don't want to see this morning. <laughs> Never 
be lacking in zeal. But keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Wow. When you talk about zeal, you are talking about enthusiasm. Yes. When you talk about zeal, you are talking about somebody that is bubbly. Am I right? Yes. Somebody that is not laid back. Somebody that is not cold. Somebody that when you hear G, before you hear sauce, action, you are taking action. Don't be that woman who is cold at this time. Mm -hmm. This is not the time for you to be cold. Yes, sir. It is not the time for you to be laid back. Mm. It's not the time. This is the time for you to rise and pray to your God. Because God answers prayers. Hallelujah. As we are gathered here right now, He knows the groanings of every heart. Yes. Yes. He knows the purpose why we are gathered here. Yes. Yes. Before you came here this morning, God already knows that you are going to be here. Mm. So you are listening to me right now. You are saying, Becky, I don't, you know, I don't even have why I'm living. The reason you are living is to glorify your God. Hallelujah. That's why we are gathered. Mm. Unto the Lord shall the serving of his people be. Amen. We are gathered because of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And as we are going forth, we'll be telling you. This morning, I really want to encourage you and the thing or the title of the short exhortation. Do not be discouraged. Continue to pray. <clears throat> what did I say? Do not, Do not be discouraged. Continue, Continue to pray. pray. There is discouragement everywhere right now. Yes. Discouragement is bringing about depression. When you are discouraged, you are depressed. When you are discouraged, you are downcast. When you are discouraged, you are disheartened. Discouragement brings about hindrance. When you are discouraged, you are hindered from the purpose of God for your life. But I decree this morning that you will not be hindered Amen. from the purpose of God in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Why did I say continue? Continue to pray. Because when you don't remain, when you say continue, that means you are remaining. Yes. Am I right? Yes. When you say continue, that means you are persisting. Yes. When you don't remain with Christ, your life is all in vain. May none of our lives be in vain. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our daughters are being ravaged, church. Red everywhere. Have you seen how many women during this COVID-19 have died of rape? So many women have been raped. Some have died. Even raped in the church. Excuse me. If you are one of those men who is raping our daughters, hear us all Israel. I mean, hear us all you men that are out there that are raping our daughters. You have come to your last bus stop. Amen. The Lord is about to castrate your mouth. Amen. Because our daughters are not for rape. Yes. Our daughters are loved by God. Hallelujah. Those children that died, one of them can be mine. Yes. I can't even imagine how the parents are feeling. I can't imagine it. Church, this is the time for us not to be discouraged. This is the time for us to continue to pray. Amen. That's what's that. <coughs> when I want this lesson, I will take it. Leave me in the <laughs> Praise be to our God. Hallelujah. Yes, my daughter Deborah. She doesn't want me to be coughing and uh, disgrace me. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> Anybody that doesn't cough, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> I don't have COVID 19. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So when I need small thing enter for me to cough, <coughs> I cough it out. <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to do that. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus, for giving me the power to bring.
receive God's cross. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Discouragement tries to stop, stop you from your godly actions. That's what discouragement tries to do. It tries to stop you from your godly actions. When my husband was explaining it to me, I was so blessed. Pastor preached it before. That's why I'm bringing it back to you. Any action that you have, discouragement wants to stop you because you are just thinking, what is that? What is it that I want to even do? There's nothing good that can come out of me. <laughs> Somebody tell yourself, something good can come out of me. Something good can come out of me. There's nobody that is bad. You make yourself bad when you give yourself to the devil. And this morning, I just want to encourage you to make sure that you come out of that web that the devil has put you. And begin to pray to your God. This is a time of prayer. It's not a time of discussion. It's not a time we allow COVID-19 to bring us down. We will not allow COVID-19 to bring us down. We will stand for our God. Amen. Have zeal for your God. Amen. Never be lacking in zeal. Amen. But keep your spiritual fervor serving Amen. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because he wants it. And the zeal is not even produced by us. Yes. It's by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Everything about Christianity, I found out is very... The zeal is by the Holy Spirit. You don't need to form it. Mm -hmm. Like I just came here now. I want to be forming to you that I'm too much. Excuse me. It's only God that is too much. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I sin like you. Yeah. I make mistakes like you. Yeah. But you know the difference? I repent. Hallelujah. I don't continue in my sin. Hallelujah. And by faith I believe that I've been forgiven. Hallelujah. So don't let anybody hold you to your yesterday. Mm. Press on to today. Amen. Don't discourage yourself. Please, don't discourage yourself. In discouragement, we have fear. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed that? Yes. When you are discouraged, you are just afraid. Yeah. You don't know how tomorrow is going to go. But we speak to fear right now. Amen. Begin to address that spirit, all of us Amen. right now. Spirit of fear. We address you. This morning, we address you. You will not take over our life if we address you. Fear is not of God. Fear is not of God. Out, out, out this one. We're casting fear out this one. We will not have a word in this one. We're casting out.
not God Almighty for your word says you should not worry about it. Yes. We should not worry about what we will eat. Yes. We should not worry about what we will wear. Yes. We should not be anxious about anything. Yes. Because you, our Heavenly Father, you already know what we need. Yes. Even before we ask. The anxiety, the fear, the worry that COVID-19 has brought about what we are going to eat, what we are going to drink, yes, how we are going to go. Yes. Because a lot of people are out of work. These men have died. Father, we are asking that you help us to continue to trust you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your Lord says that you take care of this part. Yes, Lord. Lord, you beautify the lilies of the family. Yes, Lord. Father, Lord, help us to continue to trust you. Help our own belief. Yes, Lord. To continue to trust you. Yes, Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. And don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Joy comes in the morning. Mm -hmm. Troubles they don't last always. They don't last always. For there's a friend named Jesus who will wipe your tears away. And if your heart and if your heart is broken, just me, just me. Out of our lives, 
Take that prayer. Take that prayer. Rest on my soul. Thank you, Lord. 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 you, are good. Yes. And you have said in patience we will take possession of our soul. Yes. Every spirit of impatience will bind you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. you to to dry up from yes. the roots yes. in yes. the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit, we ask that you take possession of our souls. Oh, yes. oh, yes. In our yes. spirit, yes. from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. Yes. Let our patience be made known to all. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. For we wait on you. Yes. We depend on you. Yes. And we ask that you will take charge of our homes, yes. of our desires. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Just keep, no, be there, be there. I'm going to read this scripture to you in uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, from verse 8. 1 Peter 5, 8. Be self-controlled and alert. The word is saying, be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. COVID-19 is prowling around mm. like a roaring lion. Mm. It's looking for who to devour. Mm. They will not see your home. Amen. They will not see your children. Amen. They will not see your family. Amen. Those he has already devoured that are Christian, they have got to be with the Lord. That's right. Mm. We will not give room to that roaring lion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Resist COVID-19. Amen. Stand firm in the faith. Because you know that your brothers throughout the world are undergoing the same kind of sufferings everywhere in the world. COVID-19 is ravaging people. My daughter was telling me that in Texas, in the U.S., it's now very rampant, even when you go to the restaurant. And I told her, I said, wherever you go, Manuela, COVID-19, not the right. case. Amen. Because you are not designed for oh, it. Yeah. Our families are not designed for COVID-19. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, somebody say a little while. A little while. That is what is happening right now. It looks like COVID-19 is not going to end. Somebody say lie. Lie. Our God is not sleeping. Oh, yes. Yes. God is in charge of humanity. Mm. Right. He's in charge of his children. COVID-19 will not devour us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When the children of Israel were going to go through the wilderness, it looked like Pharaoh mm. and his chariots and the children of Egypt, they were pursuing. Mm. And the children began to cry. Like we are crying right now concerning COVID-19. And Moses, he cried unto the Lord, even like we are doing this morning. The Lord looked at his son, Moses, and he asked him, he said, Moses, why are you crying? What is that in your hand? I'm asking somebody this morning, what is that in your mouth? Jesus Christ is our Lord and our God. He says he will and he told Moses, Moses said, I have a staff in my hand. He said, Moses, raise the staff in your hand. And Moses raised the staff in the wilderness. It looked like the children of Egypt, they were coming near. COVID-19 is coming. It's coming. But when Moses raised the staff, what happened? The seed that was parted. It began to rise. It began to rise. And it devoured every one that were pursuing the children of God. I want to declare this morning. Anybody where they pursue you, I want to be broken to you. Any enemy where say you not go rest. Any enemy where say, Any enemy where say your husband or your wife not go rest. By the power of the Holy Ghost, they shall be devoured. Amen. I said they shall be devoured. Amen. Children, yes. that our children are separated 
Yes, we take encouragement and courage in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. And we march on yes, in the midst of COVID-19. We march to raise the banner of Jesus. For so there is still power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I decree right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord says He has sent forth His word and His people are healed. Wherever you are sick right now, I declare healing. Healing. That place, just touch it. Touch it. You are going to receive the healing because the balm of Gilead is here. Healing, I declare it upon you right now. Anywhere that you are sick, you might have malaria, you might even have COVID 19 or no, just touch every part of your body. Wherever that sickness is, by the power of the Holy Spirit, heal it, heal it, heal it in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we bless you. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we have declared. Amen. Amen. Loud, loud, amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We are soon going to go up there. I believe that the Lord is touching you right yes. now. Every page, even in that marriage. You want to leave that marriage. The Lord says I should play with you. Don't go anywhere. Amen. Be patient with your husband. Amen. Because in this season, there's so much quarrel in homes. Yes. But God wants you to understand that man. Hallelujah. He wants you to understand that man. Hallelujah. Stop quarreling. Calm down. Be patient with your husband. Pray for him. Don't leave that marriage. I want to beg you, don't leave that marriage. Forgive your husband, just like in Christ, God forgive you. It might not be, you know, doing this COVID-19, you'll be discovering a lot of things yeah. mm -hmm. about yeah. your husband. Mm -hmm. Because before, you just leave out at uh, CCM, you are going to work. Your children, you'll be discovering a lot of things yeah. yes. about your children. Me and Deborah, we don't call it higher. <laughs> Is it Adam in short? Forget, forget. <laughs> we have quarreled. I'm now getting to know. None of them is going to give me hypertension <laughs> because I didn't give my mother hypertension. <laughs> so don't try to give me hypertension. Let me say Amen. 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 Me too. I will not have it. <laughs> I don't have time for you. <laughs> Your husband will not give you hypertension. Amen. Amen. Brought two of you together to love each other. Amen. Let love come back to your home. Amen. Amen. I pray against argument. Amen. Argument. Amen. We begin to pray. Amen. It is the spirit of argument in our home. Argument. You are just arguing and arguing. You have not come to a point. I pray against that spirit of argument this morning. We cast you out of our home. Bitterness. We cast you out of our home. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you. This is the time for you to bond better with God and with your husband and your children. With your God and your husband and your children. This is not the time. I don't know about you that you might want to be pregnant again. After six children, you say, God, you are not well. I don't come and meet I won't come. Six children, you already have six, so you now say, because of COVID 19, uh, we have been meeting, so I'm pregnant again. Somebody help me tell that woman, you are not well. <laughs> 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 Say it loud. That woman, you are not <laughs> 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 
COVID-19 should bring you closer to your home. Not to be carrying pregnancy and bringing more problems to your home. With six children, you can't even eat. With one, you can't eat. This is the time for you to be asking the Lord what he wants you to do. Yeah. To bring money to the house. Hallelujah. To bring blessing to your home. Hallelujah. This is the time for you to be praying for the church. Yeah. And to be praying that the church will come back again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because there is a ravaging. They do not come near us. Amen. Amen. Let me read. Because, let me read 2 Chronicles 20.15. Before we close, Christy, come here. You are going to take a prayer. Let them see all the women in Zion that we are working together as a team. I don't work alone. I work as a team. Second Chronicles 2015. Let me read. Chronicles 2015. Yes, Pastor yeah. Freeman. Second oh, Chronicles 2015. 2015. Yes, sir. It says, It said, Listen, King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah. Zachariah said, Listen, go ahead. Live in Judah and Jerusalem. Uh -huh. This is what the Lord says to you. Uh -huh. Do not be afraid or discouraged uh -huh. because of this vast army. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Mm. The battle of life is not ours, but mm. God's. Mm. God has a plan for us. He has a plan for you. A plan to prosper you. A plan to bring you to his expected end. He does not have plan to make you poor. That's not our goal. He said, I will be your God. That's his covenant for you. And you will be my people. You will be my treasured possession, says the Lord. That God has for you, it will not fail. Amen. Can I hear amen? amen? Amen. In this COVID 19, God is going to connect you to your destiny helper. Amen. amen. That helper that is to where God wants you to be. Amen. I don't know. Somebody you want you want to travel and you are so afraid. Where is the money going to come from? Hmm. After COVID-19, God will open the door for you. Yeah. Yeah. Because he says, any door that he opens, no man can shut. Yes. And the door that he shuts, no man can open. That's right. Christy, put it in prayer. Mm -hmm. That the plans that God has for his daughters, not will elude us. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Father, you are the one that gives words. Yes, yes, Lord, no man can make money in his strength. Yes, yes. yes. Say no, it is no. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you say yes, it is no. We ask, O oh God Almighty, Marie, that you breathe upon the works of our hands. Amen. Amen. Father, wealth is from you. We yes. ask that you begin to open the doors from the north, Amen. from the east, Amen. from the west. Amen. 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 From the north, from the south, from yes. the west, from the east, yes. that you begin to open the doors yes. of yes. wealth, yes. of ideas, yes. new ideas, yes. ideas. Come new come ideas, yes. Lord yes. Lord yes. Yes. of making wealth. Yes. 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 That Father, you begin to give to us. Yes. Yes. And that at the same time, you make us alert yes. Lord. to hear you, yes. Yes. Lord. to be in the right position to hear you oh, yes. when you give us this idea oh, yes, and that we will not run ahead of you amen. we will not run behind you amen. but walk in step with your spirit oh, yes. in the mighty name of jesus amen. Amen. father the destiny help us that you have before us yes. we pray that lord will not them amen. amen we will not quarrel with them amen. Amen. that lord when we see them we will recognize them yes. amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And we will recognize them to be from you. Yes. Not because we are wonderful or fantastic, no. but because of your mercy. Yes. You brought them to us. Yes. And we will walk with them Amen. the way you want us to walk with them. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, above all, when you have given us this wealth, yes. may we never forget you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May we not forget the church. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The church that you are using to bless us. Yes. May we not forget. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray. 
any wealth that will take us away from you. Father, let us not see it. Not that we shouldn't have it. Let us not see it. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Only the wealth that will bring glory to your name yes. that we should have. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're about to round up the prayers. It has been a wonderful morning. I don't know yes. about you. Yes. This is our first time. Yes. And we are going to continue by the grace of God. Amen. Every first Saturday of the month is when we meet to pray. Yes. If the church has opened by God's grace, we will come back to the church 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Yes. Cornerstone Anointed Church of Christ. 56, 58, Nungu Nungu Street, Aguda, Suleri, Lagos, Nigeria. Yes. If you are watching us from abroad, you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and our YouTube page. And we want you to also subscribe to our YouTube page so that whatever messages we are getting, you will get the alert. And God will continually bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tomorrow our pastor is coming to preach at 10 a.m. Yes. How many of you have been blessed by pastor? Oh, yes. Mightily Mighty blessed. Give a clap of it. God is with us. Amen. Tomorrow morning, you are still going to hear the word. We want to say thank you, Pastor Freeman. Amen. God bless you for coming. We truly, truly appreciate you. We want to say thank you to our crew. Richie, God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And for more, God bless you. Amen. Ati ke ba, ati ke pe ba ba na ron. Ode ti bo, alamba we da. We have called upon the name of the Lord this morning. He has heard us. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is not by our power, it is not by our mind, but by the Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. By His grace, first Saturday of August, we will see you again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Didi is our director yes. of photography. Oh. 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 God bless you, Daddy. <laughs> truly, truly appreciate you. God bless you. To all of us. Ebele Chuku is not here, and the other women that we pray together. Our sister May is the head of the Women's Fellowship. Am I right? Yes. yes. May at God bless you. Amen. Amen. And Sister Jane is the head of the women of Cornerstone Anointed Church of Christ. Yes. 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 And Sister Pat is the coordinator of our Cornerstone. We are going to see you in November at the Cornerstone Precious Women Conference Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Christy is assisting me and is also assisting me. She's also and by the grace of God, she will never kill you. Amen. Jesus I keep saying I didn't kill my mother. <laughs> so no child. Amen. I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. God bless you. Amen. May his face shine upon you. Amen. My husband told me something which I want to read to you. To be encouraged and not discouraged. Delight yourself in the Lord Jesus Christ. And accept his discipline. We are in a time of discipline. Accept the Lord's discipline. Delight yourself in him. And your life will not remain the same. Amen. Psalm 37, verse 4. And Hebrews 12, verse 2. You can read those scriptures at home. I believe you have been mightily blessed. Yes. I have been mightily blessed. I and I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Freeman, we are going to sing this song. I'm always calling you Freeman. 
Tomorrow Sunday, pastor will be on air from 10 a.m. We already said that. 